The eukaryotic organism that I chose for this video were starfish. The alleles of the starfish included spiky, which is dominant to smooth, pink, which is dominant to orange, and long limbs, which is dominant to short limbs. Patrick, a smooth pink short limbed starfish, and Patricia, a spiky orange short limbed starfish, had children. Um, here are some photos of Patrick and Patricia. Uh, Patricia obviously has the better quality photo. She had a better photographer. Um, and here's my illustration of the genetic map. I calculated my the, the R1 value to be 24.78 and the R2 value to be 21.10. And I found the co coefficient of confidence to be 0 0.6805. And to the right, uh, as you can see, I wrote all the possible gametes that could be created from this cross. If you want to just look at that. Next, I calculated the probability of each gamete type with respect to the type of cross. To calculate the probability for a double cross gamete, I multiplied the R1 value, the, R1, the R2 value, and the co co coefficient of confidence. Then I divided that value by two to calculate the probability of a single double crossed gamete. If you want to check, you can do that. But there the values are. To calculate the probability of a single cross at position one, I multiplied the R1 value and the value of the double cross event. And then I divided that value by uh, two to calculate the probability of a single, of a single, single cross gamete at position one. Calculating the chance of a single cross at position two is the same for position one, uh, is the same process as position one, but instead of um, using the R1 value, you use the R2 value and multiply it by the value of the double cross event. Lastly, I calculated the chance of no crossover happening by s subtracting the values of the double crossover event and the two single crossover events from one.